Hmm. All right. Let's see. Phone. Wallet. Keys. Good. That's everything. Wait. Where's my lesson plan? <sighs> I left it right here on the counter. Hmm. Maybe it's in my office. Hmm. Odd. It's not here. Ah, pup. What do you got there? What are you hiding? Let me see it. Please, pup. I don't have time for this. Hey! That's my lesson plan. I thought I lost it. Silly. When did you take that? We'll give it back. I need it. Sweetheart, I need it for work. I'm going to be late. I got a call from the university again. They just won't leave me alone. Yes, dear. That means I'll have to leave you for the afternoon. You don't want me to go. Hmm. I don't want to go either, darling. The only reason I'm doing this is because I feel bad. I feel bad for chewing out my professor friend on the phone. He's still sick, and he hasn't found anybody to cover for him. All is well between us now, but I'm stuck babysitting his students for a few days. And to do that, I need my lesson plan back. I won't ask again, pup. Give it. Pup, why are you being like this? You're scared. Of what? Huh? You've been hearing the voice again. Why didn't you tell me? It's happening in your dreams. Huh. What's it saying to you? You can't remember. Hmm. How often does this occur? Increasingly, hmm? How strange. When I went inside your dreams, I didn't hear it at all. No, no. I believe you. I just... Never mind. Listen, Max. You're going to be fine. Whatever you're hearing has no power over you. If it happens when I'm gone, you may watch TV to distract yourself, okay? You aren't grounded anymore. I'm sorry, pup. There's nothing else I can do. What? No, are you insane? I can't bring you to class with me. What do you mean, why not? The peacekeepers are onto us. If I show up to campus with a dog boy, especially a wanted one, <sighs> I shouldn't have to explain this by now, pup. Use your common sense. I know it's not fair. Please don't growl at me. I feel bad too. I wish I could bring you with me wherever I go, but you are not registered to me, and I refuse to play a part in this sick trade. What do you mean you don't care? I won't register you like you're some sort of property. I won't. And even if I could, you technically still belong to someone else. I'd have to buy you from them. <sighs> If I had my way, and you were okay with it, I'd legally adopt you instead of purchasing you as property. But that's impossible unless I find a way to clear your name. Hey, are you listening to me? You just want to be normal. I know that. I know that, sweetheart. I do. 
I don't understand. <sighs> really? Are you joking me? Think about what you just said. Do you really think I don't know what it's like to be their slave? To live and work on their terms just for the privilege of a peaceful life? I've been running from the same thing you have since before your ancestors were born. I understand this more than you'll ever know. Look at me and read my lips. We will never be normal. Do you understand that? Creatures like us don't get to be normal. Ever! Ugh. To them, we'll always be filthy half-bloods. It doesn't matter who we help or how much good we do in the world. In the end, we are nothing more than puppets on strings. This is the hand we were dealt in life. The sooner you accept it, the sooner you get it through your silly little head, the sooner you'll... <sighs> oh dear. I'm... I'm so sorry. I lost my temper. I don't expect you to forgive me right away. But how can I make it up to you? You want me to take you to class with me? <sighs> okay. Fine. But we're doing it my way. Understand? Are you able to hide your ears and tail? With a hat and baggy pants or something of the sort? Okay. Go on then. Put it on. Let me see. If it's possible, I'll let you come with me. Pop, please hurry. I'm going to be late. Ah, there you are. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. You look just like the bratty little college kids I teach. When I'm stuck teaching freshmen, at least. <laughs> As long as you keep your hat on and keep your tail tucked away, we should be fine. Oh, and if they ask questions about you, follow my lead. I'll take care of everything. The less they know about you, the better. Do not speak to anyone. Do you understand? Good boy. <sighs> I really don't like this pup. We are playing with fire. I just want you to be happy. I suppose, sometimes, being happy requires a bit of courage and risk. Let's just hope it's worth it. Come on, get in the car. Hmm? Hey, what's with you? All that sniffing and looking around. Hey, don't touch that. Don't touch anything. Just put your seatbelt on. Like this. Here. I know it's uncomfortable, but it's the law. And it'll keep you from jumping around. You'll get used to it. All right. Remember, your hat stays on. You stay quiet. Not a word. You keep by my side the entire time. No wandering about, okay? Good boy. It'll be interesting, having you in class. Maybe you'll learn something. <laughs> okay, here we are. 
This is a lecture hall, pup. The students should be arriving soon. You can sit here, behind my desk. Play some games on your phone if you get bored. Just keep it on silent, okay? Good morning, class. My name is Dr. Saren Thorne. I am your substitute teacher for the time being until Professor Kim recovers from his illness. It is my understanding that you are in the middle of writing your research paper. I had a lesson plan prepared, but I feel it would be more productive if I allowed you to use this period to work on your essays. If you need me for anything, just feel free to ask. Do you have any questions? Um, Dr. Thorne? Yes? You're the third substitute teacher we've had this semester. What's wrong with Professor Kim? He won't tell us anything. I'm afraid it's not my place to talk about that. If you really need to know, ask him yourself. Well, he won't reply to our emails. We've got a project due in a few weeks and none of us can get a hold of him. Wait. Really? That's odd. I'll look into it. That aside, are there any other questions? Um, yeah. Who's that? Oh. Hm. This is Carlos. He is a foreign exchange student. And he's deaf. He told me he'd appreciate if no one interacts with him, so please respect his wishes. Oh. Well, whatever. Hey, if you're really giving us a free period, can we just go? No, you may not. I will be taking strict attendance every day that I'm here. If you miss class, your professor will be hearing about it. Oh, come on, Doc. Cut us some slack. Enough. Get to work, all of you. If I feel you guys aren't making good use of your time, I'll switch to a lecture. Got it? <sighs> yes, ma'am. Good. How are you holding up, Carlos? Oh, you're hungry. Oh, you should have eaten at home. I'll get you some lunch after class. Just hang in there, okay? Uh, Dr. Thorne? Mm-hmm? Professor Kim said we have to use scholarly sources in our bibliography. Does Wikipedia count? No, Wikipedia is not a scholarly source. Oh, crap. I believe your professor wants you to use JSTOR or the other links he provided in your instructions. Huh? I don't see that anywhere. Turn the paper around. Wait, there's a backside? Holy sh- Language. Uh, sorry. Any other questions? Uh, actually, yeah. Where's Carlos? Hmm? He should be right. Shit! Hey, how come you get to say it? Ugh. You guys, I need to go find him. I'll be right back. So, we're dismissed? No. No, you are not dismissed. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I knew I shouldn't have brought him here. He couldn't even sit still for five goddamn minutes. Ooh, when I find him, I'm going to kick his ass. Ugh! Where could he be? Think, Thorn. Hmm. Oh, bloody hell. It's chicken sandwich day. He must have gone to the cafeteria. Ugh. I swear that boy thinks with his stomach instead of his head. Ugh. No. Where can he be? Hmm. Uh, there you are. Max! Come with me. Now! When we get home, you and I are going to have some words. But for now, I need to get back to the classroom. Oh, what's wrong? 
You look like you're about to cry. They wouldn't give you a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Is that why you're upset? You need money for that, sweetheart. You don't just get it for free. If you would have asked me instead of sneaking off, I would have bought you one. No, you cannot have one now. I need to get back. No. No puppy eyes. No. Ugh. You are not starving to death. Don't be so dramatic. Can't you wait 30 more minutes? Classes will be over by then, and then I can get you one. You want it now? <sighs> Too bad. Don't do this, pup. Not in public. Please. Stop begging like that. Ugh. Fine. But you have to make me a deal. If I get you the sandwich, you promise me you won't sneak away again. Okay? I'm really risking my ass for you here. Please, work with me. Deal? Good. If you break your promise, I'll ground you for a month. You're already grounded for two weeks after that little stunt of yours. What? Did you think I'd let you get away with this? Ha. Cute. I'll give you plenty of chores to do, and you can consider your TV time revoked once again. Maybe that will help you understand how pissed off I am at you right now. <sighs> no. Sit here and stay. I'll get your sandwich. And we're going back to the classroom. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Here. You may eat while I'm teaching. Come on. Uh, no, we cannot hold hands. I'm at work, Max. Just be quiet and follow me. All right, we're back. Ah, oh, they've left. Those sneaky little brats. Ugh. Oh. Now they're really getting a lecture tomorrow. Ah. Oh. No. We do not get to go home yet. I've got two more classes to teach. Good. I'm glad you're bored. I knew you would be. It isn't safe to bring you to work with me until we develop your social skills and your patience. <laughs> now you understand why I didn't want to bring you here. Are you going to make me do this again? No, didn't think so. I can hear some students coming. I'm moving your desk forward so I can keep an eye on you. Go ahead and eat your lunch. Just sit tight and let me get through the next two classes. Then we can go home. Be good for me. Promise? Good. Thank you.